Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot Channel. All right, I'm going to be reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is a general reading, so this is not personal, it's general, so everything I say is not going to resonate with everyone. Don't try to force the reading to be your story. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What signifies you guys? All right, mental clarity. This is the moon in reverse that's coming in as a signifier for you. So it says here you're releasing fear and anxiety, hearing and trusting your intuition. So the moon in reverse is what signifies you, which means you have some sort of mental clarity and you're releasing fear and anxiety, trusting your intuition. It's like you're paying attention, okay? Things that you may have been avoiding out of fear, out of uncertainty, out of anxiety, it now has your attention. Let's see more about what this is for you. Can you tell me more about what this means for cancers? We got the emperor coming in, so it has to do with a person, a divine masculine, and the five of swords is here, not playing by the rules that's where you are getting clear about so with this being the moon it's interesting because this is not a happy card so obviously there's something around this energy because even right here you can see not by the rules there's someone with flowers but then there's something behind their back right there so this is someone we got here hostility, some sort of hostility, some sort of conflict with this person. And we got the emperor coming in. He's sitting here. And it says here, taking action, establishment, protective and authority, powerful. So there's something around this emperor that's becoming clear for you. And you're trusting your intuition that this emperor, who is someone that may or may not be, but comes across as being established, protective, powerful, stable, a leader, is hostile. Or there's conflict. This is someone that's not playing by the rules. You're accepting that. And it may be hard but it's like you're accepting that there's something about this emperor that is not right. And you're trusting your intuition around because the, this, this can be interesting uh, or difficult rather because it's an emperor. And an emperor, emperor comes across as if they are very balanced. They're in control. They have it together. This is someone that, uh, you know, that's looked at as embodying all of the kings. So they may come across as if they're financially responsible. They may even be attractive. They may come across like they're ready to settle down. They're marriage material. But for you, you're trusting your intuition, releasing fear. You have mental clarity that this is someone that's not playing by your rules. That's not playing fair. There's an issue for you around this emperor. Let's see what it is. What can you tell me? Yeah, because even right here, starting a family. So this could be someone that wants a family. Yeah, see, marry me. But look, we got child support. So that's why they're coming in as the emperor. Because there's something around family and support. That's becoming clear or will become clear about this emperor for you. Depression. That's why that moon is there too. Because I feel like here with this moon in reverse, I feel like this connection may have made you feel down, may have made you feel depressed. 
that's why it's like it's in reverse now you're coming out of that because you're becoming clear about this situation i'm curious to know what is it though for you what is it though what's becoming i want to know exactly what brought this on for cancers Let's use this deck for you guys. What brought the, what is bringing this mental clarity about this emperor? What, what brought about this sudden change for you guys coming out of it? We got here union. So this person may be contacting you for some of you and giving you information. And that information could be what's bringing you out of that state of sadness and feeling lost and confused because this person could be coming back to give you some information that's going to give you this mental clarity about who they are and for others it could be because there hasn't been a union because there hasn't been anything done that you're deciding that it's clear to me that this person is not taking action like an emperor should be doing. This person is not playing by the rules. We have here. Yep. See blame. That's what happened. For In your energy for them. You blame them. You are blaming them. I feel like this person. This connection could have been consuming. Which is why we got the moon coming in. Right? It was consuming you. It was putting you in a low vibration. It was putting you in a dark place that you don't want to be in. See, she's a prisoner. This connection made you feel like a prisoner. I feel like you're blaming this connection. You're blaming this person, this situation for this dark state that you were in. It took up too much of your world. Too much of your mind. Your mental space. That's an interesting energy for you, Cancers. That's interesting. All right, let me see what else is coming through with you. You're blaming this person. This connection was cons all too consuming. This person was not playing by whatever rules that you have established for how you want to be treated. You were kept in the dark. This emperor kept you in the dark. They were they were sitting here rather than taking action, rather than doing anything. We got the king of wands coming in. This could be a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries don't have to be. But this is this is someone, the king of wands is someone of action. But for some reason, I feel like this person, especially sitting here and standing here, and even that lion in the background just standing there, I feel like they were I'm, I feel like they weren't doing anything. It feels like the cowardly lion, if anything. I do feel like this person was attractive. They may have like a salt and pepper beard for some of you. This could be someone that has tattoos on their arms. They may wear a bracelet. I get very attractive. King-like. King, emperor, big boss energy. But the thing about it is... I feel like this person, they were coming across, or maybe they are, I don't know, this emperor and king of wands with other people. But when it came to you, they weren't playing by this, the rules. There's something very contradicting about who this person is. And that's probably where you're becoming clear. It's like this emperor is not who I thought they were. That's what I'm getting here. Because we got the emperor and the king of wands. It feels like a contradiction. It feels like this person is not who you thought they were. Because the Emperor and King of Wands are very, like, action-oriented. They take charge. They take control. But I feel like this person wasn't doing anything. I feel like they were... I'm going to see a little bit more about who they are. But I feel like they weren't doing anything. And I feel like you blame them for whatever it is that happened. Yeah, we got the two of pentacles coming in. I feel like you, yeah, you kept going back and forth. There was a lot of inconsistency. You didn't know about this person because you were in the moon. You were in the dark. There was a lack of clarity. They were not providing you with clarity. 
And I feel like the mental clarity, <clears throat> excuse me, the mental clarity that you now have is a result of them finally either coming forward or them just not coming forward and you being done. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. There was a lack of commitment. There was a lack of effort. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. And when it's upright, we're focused. We're dedicated. We're working. We are putting in the work. Because it's important to us. But I feel like with this person, for some of you, you could have been experiencing hot and cold. One minute they were in, the next minute they were out. It felt like back and forth, back and forth. And it became too much for you. Now, you're becoming clear and trusting your intuition around this. You're not waiting. Some of you are just not waiting for this person anymore to take action. Tell me about this emperor. Let's, do, let's use these cards for them. Tell me about this emperor. We're going to use both as well. I feel like they were dealing with some sort of family situation, some sort of responsibility. We got here refresh. Yeah, see here. Again, keep seeing a child. I feel like there's a woman. This could be like a mother or a grandmother in their life that I feel like they have a hard time standing up to. There's some sort of significant woman, whether this is their mom, their grandmother, or someone they have kids with. And I feel like whoever this woman is, I feel like this woman is like, uh, has the mind of a child. I feel like the woman that they are dealing with, that's significant in their life, has the mind of a child. And I feel like your person, even though they're grown, they deal with them in their own inner child. Like that, that they, this person triggers their inner child. See, be here now. There's someone that's demanding. There, this woman is very demanding of this emperor. And then we got her deception. I thought this woman is deceptive and cunning. There's manipulation. They want this emperor's attention. And I thought this emperor, like I said, they have a hard time really standing up to this person. But they feel like with this integrity card... They need to do right by this person. So even if that means not playing by the rules with you, they feel like what they were doing with this other person is what was right. I have a responsibility. I have to take care of this person. If they call, I jump. But this person was doing this. Whoever this woman is in their life was doing this. It's like playing victim. I don't know, making them feel like they owe them. It was a manipulation tactic. We got deception. It was a manipulation tactic here. Now, what does that have to do with you, right? We got here. I told you this person is attractive. They could be a smoker also. Or this is someone that smokes to calm their nerves. Because I feel like... Uh, their nerves there's a there's a nervousness and anxiety around this person and i feel like it's because they feel pulled between you and this significant this other significant person in their life we got see in love that's what this has to do with you they are actually in love but look losing patience is in reverse Losing patience is in reverse. Look, because this came with chaos. There's some sort of chaos in their life that they were dealing with. But see, you probably didn't know all of this. Or even if you did, you were losing patience because you were not a priority. They were not treating you like a priority. Even though they were in love with you, you didn't feel like this person was in love with you. And I feel like this is someone that wanted to be single. Or felt like they should just be single. And then we got here romantic gesture. There's something about that romantic gesture that feels like um, trying to appease you. Even right here with this five of swords. 
like giving flowers, but then having something behind their back. I don't feel like this is someone that has something behind their back to hurt you, but I feel like what's behind their back is more so about their intentions. Their intentions is to try to love bomb you, but only to still be dealing with this situation still. It's like, let me breadcrumb you. Let me just give you enough so you don't lose patience with me. So you don't give up on me. That's what this is feeling like. Someone in there, I feel like whoever this significant person is, wants them to be single. Because they get all the attention from this person. And if they're in the relationship, they won't be getting all of that attention. So it feels like they're allowing this person to sabotage their opportunity with you. So, yeah. Anything else about this person? Trouble ahead. Yeah, there's going to be trouble ahead. We got instability. It says storm brewing, no progress. See, returning from travel, slow healing. Look, this says bad to worse. So a situation, you and this person are already having issues. But it looks like it's going to go from bad to worse. How does it go from bad to worse? They were already in the hot seat with you. Now it goes from bad to worse. And then I'm seeing here the tower in reverse. And there go fear of financial loss. Money trap is showing up over there. We got here delaying the inevitable. Averting disaster. See, they're trying to, they're going to be trying to do something to avoid losing you. But whatever it is that they do, it's not, it's not going to help. It's actually going to make it worse somehow. What can you tell me about this situation over here that's going on with this person that's going to affect cancers? We have here uh, Jupiter. It says expansive growth, money, career, a turning point, fortune. It's going to go from bad to worse because of some sort of turning point financially. See, it says fear of financial loss, old money, married for money, bankrupt contracts, family feud. Then we have here the Queen of Wands coming in. There's another woman. That's why it goes from bad to worse. Because now you have another person. Woman, man, whoever. There's another person that's coming in. So you already got this other significant woman. Then here comes another woman. Or take it however it resonates. But there's definitely another person coming in. And there's a money trap. I, with this Six of Wands, we got here, congratulations, victory. This person gets some sort of success. They have some sort of success. Then here comes what feels like an ex or someone that they were interested in. Right? Or was the, I don't know. There's another person. Let me put it that way. Where there's an ex or someone new that comes in. But they're coming in for financial reasons. They're coming in for financial reasons. How do they feel about this person? Let's see. How do they feel? They feel like this person is a diva. <laughs> they feel like this person is a diva. They feel like this person is attractive, energetic. This could be a fire sign. They feel like this person is outgoing, strong, sexy, appealing, charming. I feel like that whoever this person is, because they're an emperor, like they're a hard worker, they're successful, they're, they're like conquering goals, and they attracted this new person or ex back into their life for financial reasons. And look, set up. Someone's being set up. Someone is being set up. They went from bad to worse because they started dealing with this queen of wands rather than trying to make things right with you. And see, energy interference. Here comes interference. Look, planning a secret escapade. Planning a secret escapade. 
with who? <laughs> right? Is that this is how it goes from bad to worse? They were planning a s. Uh, um, hold on. How do they feel about this uh, other person? They were planning a, a a secret escapade, or was this Queen of Wands doing it? Who was was it? The um. Tell me, how did this person feel about this Queen of Wands with this energy here? This energy interference. Someone is about to receive a rude awakening. Oh. It says, wake up. Someone is about to receive a rude awakening. I, this is making me feel like with this tea here or this coffee, I feel like they met up with this person. I feel like they met up with this person. There was some contact. There was a conversation. But it feels like a meeting. A public meeting. And I feel like there was plans. Talking. going, Wanting to maybe travel together. Or go somewhere together. That's why it's going from bad to worse. And it says averting disaster. Because I feel like there was planning being made. But there wasn't a follow through. But let's see. Tell me about their energy when it comes to this person. Some, uh, see, cleanse your space. Phone and self. And then we got here liberating. Liberation from all restrictions. So they did meet up with them. But they didn't follow through with it. There was talks and planning. But they ultimately did not follow through with it. Smudge. They were cleansing their space. Maybe they were giving closure. They were trying to get closer from the situation. What happened? What happened between these two? Bipolar disorder. And look, someone is stuck in their ways. They both have a problem. They both have a problem. I feel like this person that I'm talking about in this reading, this emperor, they may have like a bipolar disorder or some sort of mental disorder, but they also were dealing with someone who was stuck and set in their ways. They may have thought that that person had changed, but they didn't. And they may have thought that they were interested in that person again, but they weren't when they saw that this person was still the same. So there was an opportunity here, but there was no follow through. And I feel like that's where we're not playing by the rules because they left you in the dark and they were entertaining or open to dealing with this Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Give me more insight around the person they were dealing with. They're, they're, the Queen of Wands is very disrespectful. And look at here. We got black magic. Someone doing black magic. So not only was this Queen of Wands disrespectful, they were also doing black magic. So here it is, and that's why they averted a disaster, because it could have gotten worse if they had actually got back or got into a relationship with this Queen of Wands. So now they want to come back over to where you are. How are they feeling around the viewer or cancers, whoever this reading is for? That's why we got romantic, look at here, romantic gestures, look. Flowers and flowers. Even right here, flowers. How are they feeling towards cancers? Inconspicuous. Not clearly visible. Nor attracting attention. They are feeling inconspicuous. Hiding. They're trying to hide this. They don't want you to know about this. They don't want you to know about this. Look. This lustful vampire sexual drainage. They don't want you to know about this. These women that have been around them trying to drain them. They're trying to hide that. And this is not, some of this could be sexual drainage, but just, just these women in general or people in general that they've been dealing with. They're trying to keep that part hidden. Certain parts they're trying to keep hidden. They don't want to call attention to that part. What else for how they feel about cancers? Tyrant. Cruel, oppressive ruler uses force to control people. Can't trust them. Let me reset this. I feel like this person is trying to come up with some sort of plan. They have trust issues when it comes to you anyway. 
because it says here can't trust them they have trust issues when it comes to you and I feel like this person is trying to come up with some sort of plan when it comes to you in order to have control what else for them when it comes to cancers I feel like they're mad they're also mad too they have a personality disorder. Yeah, and I feel like it stems from mother. Again, black magic. Yeah, there's something going on with this person. I feel like it stems from mom. There are some issues. They have a mother wound. Even their mom. Remember I told you the mother is older but has the mind of a child. And for some, this mother could have like dementia or something. For some, there could be literally a medical issue around this mother. But I feel like this person is angry at their mother they have an issue with their mother so this could be someone that mistreats women or have issues with women or feminine energy because it says here personality disorder struggling to find oneself this person is cruel and oppressive but they come across like an emperor there's something about this person's energy that feels like they could be safe only for them to be a wolf in sheep's clothing only for them. And they get it from their mom. Because the mother is duplicitous. The mother is deceptive. And I feel like that's why they have issues with women. So that's why release and fear. Hearing, trusting your intuition about this person is coming through. Because you have a feeling about this person. Because I feel like it's hard to see it. Because they're inconspicuous. They hide it. They hide their disdain for um, women or female energy. They hide it. That's why you were in the dark. That's why you were going back and forth because you were trying to figure out, is this really a divine masculine? Someone that's really, uh, you know, someone that acts with morals, integrity. This is someone that you can rely on. You can feel safe and protected. They act that part. This person acts that part. But I don't feel like they are. They hide that they're cruel. They hide that they're oppressive. They have a personality disorder. They feel like they can't trust you. They have ulterior motives. They're going to love bomb you, breadcrumb you. This is not the one and you know that. I'm not saying anything new. I'm confirming what you already know. You have mental clarity and that's why the moon is here. Because despite the uncomfortable feeling around this, it's clear for you that there is something dark. That you're being made aware of. You feel it. And you're not dismissing that now. This is clear. The vibration. The energy that you felt when you were dealing with this person. Why are they showing up? Why are they showing up? That's what I want to know. Why is this person showing up for you? I'm seeing, as I was asking that, I'm seeing chaos. There's something chaotic about this person. Why are they showing up? Breaking through illusions. We got breaking through illusions. That's part of that uh, mental clarity. Breaking through. Look, we got here public eye. This could be someone that's in the public eye. Why are they showing up for cancers? For some of you, this is someone that's in the public eye or likes a lot of attention. Hmm. I feel like this is you. This is showing up for you because you're going to see something publicly. Maybe they're not going to even come your way for some of you because they could be prideful. But I feel like there's going to be something revealed publicly. Rather it's on social media or maybe through the grapevine finding out something. That's going to, that's where that mental clarity is coming in. That's going to be, make, it's going to make something clear for you about them. What is this card here? Oh, that's that romantic gesture. There's something here that's going to be shown publicly. That's going to definitely give you that mental clarity. Breaking through illusions. There could have been dark magic, black magic around them. And it could have been affecting you from seeing them. See, oh, and so for some of you, look, romantic gesture. Because they're going to try to come and give you this. Because there was a breakup. You and this person not together. So here it comes. Here they come. That's why you're, you're being shown this because you're going to see them publicly and or find out something publicly. They're going to 
You got her mistress. Cheating. You're going to know all of this. And it's not going to come. I don't feel like it's going to come. Yeah, see, they're a manipulator. It's not going to come from them. I feel like it's going to come in a way of which you're going to be talking to them. And when you bring, now that you see clearly, when you confront them or bring this to their attention, they're going to get mad. They're going to get mad. This person may be even homeless or they're having issues at home, financial issues. Because they could have been successful or they come across like they're successful and financially stable, but they really not. That's part of breaking through the illusions. This is someone that's a chronic cheater. They have a mistress, but they're coming in to love bomb you. They have a different persona in the public. They're really having issues at home. Yeah, see, and look, they're going to want to try to start a family. But look, they burnt their bridge with you. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen with cancers when it comes to this connection? Misaligned value, disharmony. That's what flipped over, disharmony. You and this person don't have the same values. Discord, disconnected, trust issues. You don't trust them. Yep, because look, there's a third party. They've been under an influence of a third party. So what's next for you? Because this ain't it for you, <laughs> right? This is not it for you. So what's next for you? What's next for this viewer? Yep, see, wising up. <laughs> yep, this is you. That's what's next for you, wising up. Because they're going to try to buy you. And it's probably the last amount of money that they got. But they're trying to play their cards right. Because remember I told you they were planning? How can I use you? Because some of them ain't got no home. How can I use you? They're going to make you, they're going to buy you something expensive to make it look like they got the money and they don't need it, but really probably trying to use you. It says beginning to understand the truth of the situation, even if it's difficult and painful. See, that's why the moon is there. You're starting to understand the truth of this darkness, even though it's difficult and painful. Spend time alone to help bring clarity and make peace with them. That's what's happening. You're going to be spending time alone to make peace with this situation because you may feel let down because this is someone that you were hopeful of. We got here hot gossip. See, there's some stuff. There's some talk around this person. It's sad how some people are so jealous of you that they only have negative things to say when they know nothing about you. So that's what's next. You got hot gossip. People could be talking about you. When they know nothing about you. I wonder why there's hot gossip around you. Oh, because of a gift. You may be surprised by someone's act of kindness. Be open to small gestures or any proposals that come your way. Embrace the gift. Because we saw two. Remember we kept seeing different flowers, love bombing? I'm starting to wonder... We got here wise up playing the field. Let me see. Tell me more about what's next. Because there's some sort of gift that's going to make you hot gossip. I want to make sure it's from this person and not someone else. Tell me about hot gossip in this gift. The eight of, you're walking away. Yeah, it's, it's from this person still. Because we got the five of swords. Yeah, you're not going to accept it. There's going to be some sort of extravagant gift that this person see. And they're going to be like, dang. You didn't fall for it. They're going to be, they messed up. They're like, dang, I messed up. Because you're going to walk away from it. You're not going to accept what they have to offer. And it's going to be a significant gift that's going to draw attention. And that's the intent. To give you some sort of grand gesture. But yeah, see, you're going to choose peace, protect yourself, and stay away from them. So that's what's next for you. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.